So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to The House Abandoned. This is a totally different kind of horror game experience and I'm actually really looking forward to this. It's a textual based horror game. I guess you could say like a novel almost. It's like the old school 1980s game where you have to used to like type things in like go back, go forward, get out. It's going to be great fun guys and I don't know how this was really going to play but I thought why not at least try it one time on the channel because it might be some chill time and it'll almost be like a campfire story. So... Here we go, guys. So, hint. Use, look at, look around, and go to are your friends. All right. I'm going to bear that in mind. So, yeah, what, what, what they Okay. Here we go. This is sick. What did I just say? Sweet? This is sick. Oh, man. Listen to that vibe. Mm. This is great vibe. This is so cool. This is so cool, man. Well, here we go. Straight into this. So, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. So, what do we say? Should we say check glove box? Let's do it, man. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. So, what do we do next, man? We've pulled up in the driveway of the holiday home. I guess we could say get... Out of car? Shall we try that? You get out of the car and stretch your legs. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the back of the house. Mm, should we go to the front door? Go to front door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Wait, go to front door? Let's try and look at the front door, maybe. Let's see if that one's actually going to work. So, the door appears to be locked. Do we have a key for that? I don't think we have a key just yet. So, perhaps that's not somewhere we can actually enter. We do have the backyard. So, what should we do? Should we say, look around backyard? We could, we could try that. I mean, there might be a key somewhere on the... Doesn't understand again. Let's try and go to the yard. Maybe that one will work. There we go. You walk around the yard. You walk through the yard. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. So we could say, look around, I guess. Okay, you see a generator on the back wall of the house. Oh, shall we go to? Let's go to the generator. There we go. You are next to the generator. What could we do now? I mean, we could look at the generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and is manually operated by a switch. Do we have the switch? Use switch? Try that. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Use generator? You switch the generator on and it words to life. The house is still dark. Okay, that's interesting. That means that there might not be any fuel in there. Hmm. Let's go back to the house. Let's see if there's going to be... Let's go back to the hajaus. You go back around the front of the house. The house is grand sat perfectly amongst the trees. So we've read this bit before. I mean, we should probably like... Can we look around? Like, look around... Let's try that. The trees stretch up to the night sky. There is the house and the yard. So we've been around the back and we've seen the yard. There's a generator. We did switch that on. Use... Do we have a key? I mean, you insert... We had a key the whole time. You insert the key and turn. The lock and clicks open. English, please. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door, maybe? Is that going to be it? Open door? Okay, you enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however, so use light switch. Please don't say I don't know how to do that. Use light switch, please? You switch the lights on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going upstairs. So we can go in the kitchen or we can go upstairs. So let's go to kitchen. Let's try that. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. So let's look around the kitchen. Let's see if there's any goodies around. It's very tidy, not been used in a while. So I guess there might not be anything in here of particular use. Board, you go back to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to a kitchen and the living room here. I guess we could check the living room before we go upstairs. So you go to the living room, a spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family, warm and in Inviting. So let's look around to begin with. Let's see if there's any good stuff. Look around. -y. Look around. There is nothing here of interest. Let's go back again. So you go back into the hallway. It looks like all we got to do now is go upstairs and hopefully find some goodies up there. So go upstairs. Let's see if we can go up the stairs. You make your way upstairs. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the world. Images of happy times. Let's go to... Uh, bedroom? Which bedroom? Yours or your sister's? Uh, let's say mine. 
Okay, you go into your bedroom. You enter your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Let's go to the gift wrapped box because I want to know what's inside there. Let's look at it. Okay, look at gift. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. You open the present excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A future 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. You open the present. All right, so what can we do now? Can we use it? Look at computer. Maybe we can do that. And it's a Futuro 128K plus two with a tape loader and a copy of the house abandoned. Can we play? It'd be cool if we could play it. Play the house abandoned? Use computer. You untangle the cables and set up the computer. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game in here too. Use game. Maybe we can do it this way. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. What happens now? It says... <gasps> no way. What the heck have I just done? Ah! Wait, why? What? So I put the... What the hell? I've put the... Don't tell me I just created a freaking time paradox. What the- Whoa, 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 What's that say? That says something. Get out? Get out? Is that what it says? The house of- What the heck did I just do? You pull up to the driveway of the family home and park the car. It's dark but clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the gov- You can't stand to be near this place. Go to house? You reluctantly exit the car. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love This is amazing. What the heck, man? So, go to house? Oh my goodness. Okay, so it doesn't understand that. Let's try and look around. You stand at the door to the house. It's imposing an awful feeling. Uh, use key? Wait, did we have a key last time? Let's look around. You stand at the door to the house. It's imp Okay, maybe let's try and go to the yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There is an old generator next to you. Go to generator. I think we can do this. You are next to the generator. Maybe let's say look at the generator. My goodness, this really just changed. The old generators can supply power to the house. Can we, is it used generator? I think it might be. There isn't, uh, there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Okay, I think I understand what the heck's going on here. We're in the bedroom of the house. Think about it, guys. Think about it. We just used the ge Is it like a freaking time paradox? <laughs> Think about it, we're in the house. We came into the room that we might be in. We used it and then instantly the power went off and we're in this room, we just put the generator on. You clutch the note. Uh, can we look at the note? We can't look at the note. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. So look at door maybe, maybe look at door. The door appears to be locked. You hurry back into the car, you feel sick. You pull up to the driveway of the family. Maybe I need to look around before I do anything else. So let's look around. You are in the car. You don't want to get out. There is a glove box. Open the glove box. We didn't do this. That's what we needed to do. There is a note and a key, both of which you take. Okay, so go to house. Spelled that wrong. Damn it. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. What the heck happened in this place, man? Open door? Okay, there we go. Pitch black. But you're sent... That confirms it. Your senses are more punished, more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Let's read the note. Why do we need to read it? It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Okay, let's try and go back outside. Maybe we can read the note in the light of the, the, the moonlight, I guess. I don't know if we're here at nighttime or whatever. So read note. Let's try this. Okay, the text seems to read, this is what you wanted. Excuse me? What the? What does that even mean? Okay, we're going straight back in the house. So now that we've read the note, will it be different this time? But let's try and say read note. Okay, it's too dark to read. Okay, press... Oh, this actually works. You switched the lights on, but wished you hadn't. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails. What the... Wait, what? What the... What? The sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. What? What the heck do I do? Go back. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. 
Turn off! Okay, somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic setting. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent. The stairs are leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Let's try and read the note. Does it say anything different? I can't read the note. It's bl the note itself is bleeding? Look at the time, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Go to- let's try and go in the kitchen, see if there's anything different this time in there. You go in the kitchen, and it stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painting on it. Look at- Door, maybe? I want to see the door. The door is locked. Something tells you that it's a good thing. Oh, man. This literally is taking a crazy turn. Let's look around now. Let's see if there's anything else in here. The number 1986 is written across the wall. In what looks like blood! Oh, my God. Go back. Please go back. You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. Man, I'm going to have to check out what's in the living room, and I think we're going to go upstairs and have to go in. Look at the walls! The walls are dripping with blood. The number has appeared. 1986. Right there on the freaking wall. Go to living room. This is really, really cool. You enter the living room. Although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your hand. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place to me. Let's look around this place. Run down and empty. Abandoned and for good reason. Um... I don't think there's any- let's, let's try and read the note in here. Okay, the note always changing now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Get through this? What the heck? Go back. You return to the hallway. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, I think. So let's try this. So go upstairs. You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister- Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand it, neither can he. Uh, look at phone, maybe? You can't focus, the ringing in your ears is too much. Um, use phone? Can we use the phone? We have a phone on our freaking wall here. Hang on, you hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You consider the worst. Oh my god, okay, so hang up. Relief! Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Look at note. Can we look at the note? The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. You have to get through this. Door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Use, use lock, I guess? You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note's heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. 1987. Hang on, let me just read the note. The note is reacting. Get in the door. Get in the room. Get in. Do it. Go. Wait. Use lock. Use lock. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm going to try a few combinations. So first off, 1986, because I don't know if I put 87. The lock clicks open. Someone is behind the door. The doors are all boarded up with the exception of your room. You have to get in. The pictures look different from before. The note trembles. The guilt is overwhelming. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Oh my goodness. Look around. The landing is bare and worn. Do we go in? Go in bedroom. Is this how we do it? You enter the feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read the damn note, man. That thing is changing. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can't be with you now. What? Wait, what happened here? Did they all pass away? What the heck? Use... Hang on, there is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. How do we end? What do we do? Go to person, maybe? Don't change the subject. You know what you have to do. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. What the heck do we do? Go to me? Don't- Wait, what, what do I do? I've just edged closer, so... Look around. What the heck? I'm literally, this is me, and I am also behind myself, like, literally right now. I don't know what I have to do or what I have to do. What the, what the, what the do, do? Let me try, end. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please, stop. It was all my fault. Say it. Do I say it or do I stay reluctant? 
When I said no, it said, please stop. Whatever was just talking to me. I'm gonna, no. Just say it. It was all my fault. Say it. No. I'm gonna keep saying no. Just say it. Is he gonna keep telling me to do it until I do? My goodness. It was all my fault. What did I do? Finally. What the heck did I just do? What just happened? What did I just- <gasps> Why did that make me jump so much? Wait, it turned off. Is that the end? What was all my fault? The death of my family? The house abandoned. What even happened? Did I run away? Something happened involving me leaving and when I came back in, I found me again? That's such a twisty thing. I bet if I thought about that, something might click. I'm, I'm literally trying to process what the heck just happened there. To say I'm like semi mind blown wouldn't really do it much justice. I'm sure from the perspectives like observation like you guys watching me play this. I'm hoping someone got the story. The problem was a lot of the times I was typing things in and it'd be completely wrong. So sometimes I'd forget the story because I'd type like use light switch and it wouldn't do it. You'd have to do like a very specific command. I think those need to be a bit more broad and just to make this game a little bit easier playable. So like maybe a first type command can definitely get you through to the next separate thing in the storyline because that broke it a bit for me. But I will be cutting that out so you guys can enjoy this to the maximum. If you guys did enjoy this video though, why not drop me that like button? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? And of course, guys, more amazing indie games. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.